Good morning, my name is Bruce. I am going to be demonstrating my ECM Mechanica 5 Slim and uh, I have a niche grinder I'm going to be grinding with, a uh, time more scale. Uh, I did, this is brand new, so I've only had this a week, so this is all experimental with me. This is a VST basket. I replaced this when I bought the machine. I bought this with the VST basket. It's a 20 gram basket, uh, which I filled to 18 grams. And uh, I'm using an ECM uh, distribution tool, which is a wedge shape. I uh, see there's lots of different shapes out there, but that's what I chose to use. Um, the ECM comes with, the Slim 5 comes with this uh, tamper, but I don't use it right now. Since I bought the distributor, I got the distribution down so deep that I really don't need to use the tamper at all. Um, I also have a second grinder back here, if you can't see it, that's the Virtuo Plus. Um, uh, I use that for my drip coffee. Alright, so let's get to it and make some coffee. So let's make some coffee. I had to have a little pause because I forgot I'd let my machine turn off and it cooled down. So it's all heated up and it's ready to go. So the first thing we need to do is uh, cool the group head a little bit. So we'll run a little bit of water through it and then let it come up to temperature. And while we're doing that, we'll grind some beans. So just cooling down the group head. So we'll make some, grind some coffee now. Oh, let's turn this on. Let it zero itself out. And grab some beans. So we're gonna do 18 grams. Two, that's good enough. Okay. okay, so we'll grind our coffee. Oops, we dropped the bean. Can't have a dropped bean. All right, and here we go for the noise. I like to flick the spout a little just to get the little grounds that are on the inside. I don't get a lot of static out of this machine compared to what other people do. So we'll just take this out. It's got a little moisture in it, so we'll just dry it out. It's all nice and preheated. So it's all ready. Just throw that over here. Just take my basket. I'm gonna get a, actually I'm gonna get a dosing funnel because I like to have one in here when I uh, WTT the grounds. So there we go. Put that back over here. This is my WDT tool. As you can see, it uh, has lots of little needles in it. Give it a little go. Make sure everything's nice and even. And try not to spill anything. As you can see, you do get a little bit of spill because the grounds are nice and fluffy and they're right up to the top. So we'll just give our grand, uh, our basket a bit of a tap just to level it a little bit. And then I'm going to get my distribution tool and we will level this nice. It's got a lot of weight so it has so I don't even bother doing uh, the tamper because I feel the level is pushed down enough that I have a nice medium dense puck. One thing you may notice is I don't have a naked ported filter. I'm not really a big fan of them. 
though I understand their purpose, they can help with uh, diagnosing problems and stuff, but I've seen enough of it online to know that, oops, I just gotta level up my cup here. I've seen enough of the naked porter fields are spurting all over the place and stuff to know that I don't feel like cleaning up messes all the time, trying to diagnose different types of coffee. So I'll put this right here. Cups ready. Everything's zeroed out. So let's go and make a cup of coffee. So we're going for 25 to 30 seconds with 36 out because we have 18 in and let's see what we get. So we went a little over, we're actually at 38 in 26 seconds. In 26 seconds, so that should be pretty good. Let's give this one a taste and see how it tastes. The last one was just, I, I just changed the uh, setting on the grinder just a little bit to make it a little bit more coarse. And, um, cause it was just slightly bitter. So let's just see what this one tastes like, see if I've improved it. Oh, that's really nice. Really nice. It's one of the nicest uh, espressos I've made. Mm. Yeah, I could drink that kind of stuff all day. So there you have it. So enjoy your espresso this morning if you're having some or any time today. Um, this has been a great uh, first video of me and my espresso machine together. Um, some things to note about the, the express machine, if you didn't see the gauges clearly, um, I was shooting this machine actually set up for 10 bars when you get it. Um, as per James Hoffman, I changed it to nine bars at the gauge, um, which should get me between eight and a half and eight bars uh, at the group head. Uh, that's what he recommends. He actually recommends if you're brand new to uh, express it, it actually be six or seven bars. Um, but I didn't go that low because I've been making espresso for about a year. Um, other things to note, uh, this can come with a flow control unit, uh, which I am planning to purchase. So you'll get a gauge that will go here that will tell you the bars of pressure at the group head and a valve at the top, which you can turn to open and close the flow rate of your group head. Definitely something to look out for. I probably have that in about six months. I'll buy one of those once I've mastered the E61 uh, uh, system because uh, I this is new to me the E61 uh, this is a great little machine if you're thinking of buying a compact machine if you can see I had actually I had this has a uh, cup rails that go on here here and at the back I had to take those off to get them under the counter here um, so I actually have to pull it out in order to get water into the back um, a little bit of a deal but not a deal breaker because this is such a great machine it was worth it's worth the effort every time to have to put water in it I do have it set up on a timer, so I have a number of timing profiles throughout the week. So this is always ready for me to go, and it's always preheated and ready whenever I need to, to pull a cup, cup, pull an espresso. Anyways, uh, of course, here's my handy dandy niche. A lot of people know of that, know of this brand. Um, I really think it's a great grinder. Um, I have a Virtuoso Baratza Plus in the back, which I use for drip coffee. Um, the niche is really great because it's really good with the flow of, of working together. It's, it's just a very simple, simple design. You put the coffee in the top, you hit the button, the, the grounds come up the bottom. <laughs> Can't get much easier than that. And uh, as long as you're using a, a scale, um, you'll always have an accurate uh, coffee measure. Anyways, so you guys have a good day and uh, see you at the next video.